What is going on, everyone? My name is Jared Haas, and welcome back into another edition of NASCAR Mailbox. This weekend, we're going to take a look back at the action at Darlington Raceway. And now this first question comes from 8th Place YT YouTube. They asked, do you think Kyle Busch's great performance will continue into the last 10 races? Kyle Busch was on a tear in these last four races, scoring the most points out of any drivers with a four with 14th and three top 10s, including two runner-up finishes, just one position short of locking himself into the playoffs for another season. And it seems like Richard Childress Racing has found something uh, right before the Indianapolis race weekend. Uh, if you remember that, even though Kyle Busch wrecked out, he was running up there with Denny Hamlin. And, you know, Kyle Busch had those runs. But let me look at the another teammate. Austin Dillon. You take out Daytona. He was involved in Iraq, finished 22nd, uh, with including Indianapolis. And since then, 13th, obviously he's a win at Richmond, 17th of Michigan, and 15th in Darlington. 17th is his worst finish in that uh basically five race, four race stretch. He's only finished better, 16th or better before that stretch, only three times. Sixth place at Gateway, and an eighth place finish at Texas, and then he finished 16th at Las Vegas. So Richard Childress Racing has more or less found the mojo back that it was missing at Gateway, and I think the confidence with the veteran of Kyle Busch being able to quickly turn that around. I think that great performance will continue. I think we're seeing a rejuvenated Richard Childress Racing. Uh, does that mean he's going to get a win? We've seen upsets in the past where a driver not in the playoffs capture a win. I think Eric Jones back to Darlington a couple of years ago. Um, but again, it's going to be really tough with these playoffs as you have multiple drivers. You could have six to eight drivers. You could pencil into the final four and those drivers are going to want to win. So I think Cal Bush puts himself in the right place in the right position where he has been running up front towards the front. He can still win. Like if in Darlington, he was able to get around Chase Briscoe that can happen in the playoffs. So don't write off the eight just yet of not winning this year. And now this next question comes from MLG pro swag 69. They ask the year really feels like there's eight teams who can make the final four and everyone else who would just be happy to make it out of the first round. The eight who I want to make it in the final four are the 5, 9, 11, 12, 19, 20, 24, 45. How many of those guys are eliminated before the round of eight? Well, I will give you my playoff predictions for this season. I mean, it's definitely been a chaotic season where you've had Chris Bush and Beverly well Wallace, arguably two of the consistent drivers miss out, and you have wild cards like Harrison Burst and Chase Briscoe and Austin Sindrick inside the playoffs. And I'm going to start it off right at the bat. One of those drivers is going to be eliminated in the round of 16. I have Harrison Burton being eliminated, Daniel Suarez, Alex Bowman, and Martin Shrex Jr. I've not really been wowed by these drivers and not a lot of playoff points to fall back on. So those are the drivers that are going to be out in the round of 16. Next for the elimination is going to be Austin Sendrick, Chase Briscoe, Joey Logano and Chase Elliott. I have Brad Kozlowski just over Chase Elliott advancing to the round of eight. I think Chase Elliott just barely misses it out into the round of eight. Who is going to be missing out of the championship four? I have William Byron, Ty Gibbs, Ryan Blaney, and Brad Kozlowski getting eliminated with that. Championship four consisting of Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Denny Hamlin and Tyler Reddick with Denny Hamlin taking the championship. I think Hamlin's been really consistent this year, whether it's whatever track it is, he's had his woes uh, with the Bristol win not being uh, counting towards his playoff points since his motor was taken down. Tyler Reddick has really been consistent this year, really grown into a form. I like how Kyle Larson's kind of, he had those growing pains, those, you know, moments in the uh, sun where he looks like he's going to be a driver that is going to contend and then takes a step back. I think Michigan is a really good turning point for Reddick's career. He can make it into the championship four. obviously Kyle Larson with the most playoff points entering in <laughs> into the playoffs, a pretty good cushion. They almost make it in. I mean, you had Martin Truex last year 
had a pretty good collapse in the playoffs, terrible run, but still made it deep into the playoffs. And Christopher Bell seems like every year in and in, in and in out, those races really line up for Bell's uh, talent. And last year at Phoenix was so, you know, he made it there as well, but had a break issue. So to answer that question, I see two of those drivers of those eight drivers that you mentioned will be eliminated before the round of eight with my predictions. Trex really struggled this year. just been out to lunch and Chase Elliott just barely misses it uh, in the number nine. Thank you very much for watching. As always, like and subscribe. That really helps get that content out to you guys. And until next time, as always, make sure to have a great race weekend. Kevin Nix with FrontStretch.com. Come back soon for more great racing videos. And if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.